So what's up guys? I know you can't see me. I guess you could call me the shadow. A book just popped into my head, one I want to read, The Man in the Iron Mask. I think it's Alexandre Dumas as well, The Count of Monte Cristo. I'm still stuck on Moby Dick. It's just, it's pretty smart, smart. It's just, I don't know, I like, I like storytelling. I like when two people or a group, or I just like, I like storytelling. So a lot of narrative can be kind of boring. And when it's boring, it like takes, I'm not like I don't find myself wanting to read it. I told my coworker this, and it's a female, older, older woman. She said, "What? Well, you're not, you're not, you know, you're not married to the book. You, you don't have to read." I'm like, oh, "Once I start it, like, I'm even reading a book that I got recommended to by Oppenheimer and Oppenheimer's book that he liked the book called The Life of Lenin. The um, pretty much the founder of the Soviet Revolution when Soviet was pretty much a royalist society and, and autocracy." They had royalty, you know. They had SARS, and I don't know. That book's kind of boring too. It's just, it's actually really long, and I don't really, not that interested in. It. Like I said, I like storytelling. I like love books. I like love novels. I like, I, don't know, I like hero shit. You know, like a weird guy turning into a hero, or like a genius kind of guy. I like, I really like biographies. <laughs> There's traffic. I haven't been in traffic in forever. But I'm glad to talk to you guys. Actually, I came really far out. I got a $10 tip, but still, I came really far out. And I came all the way over here by Dodger Stadium. But I just wanted to, I just kind of took a hit real quick. I didn't have, I didn't have a lighter. I seen a guy smoking a cigarette. I just came out real quick and sparked it up. And, um, yeah, it's a lot of traffic. But, um, yeah, just sparked it up. And I felt better. I just realized, like, oh, fuck. Is there a reason why I don't like being high? Because... I realize how I realize who I am sober. That's like the only negative about smoking. Other than that, you feel like kind of good. You don't feel like that. I don't know. It's like a relief a little bit. I can only imagine how these harder drugs, you know, these the ones that get you hooked, you know. Trust me, I'm a man of vices. And when I say things like everybody has an addiction, it kind of comes from a selfish place. But everybody just does something, you know, to pass the time. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like when you get high too, you're like a little more actually like. It feels real like things, like consequences or the idea that people get hurt out here. Not by other people, just in general accidents. You know, we're, we're, um, we're not as robust, you know, even though we kind of are robust a little bit, but we're not as, you know, we don't live forever. So this, like, what gave me the idea of talking was the idea that, um, well, I'm lonely. I feel crazy even talking to myself right now, you know. But no, also, I'm not trying to be paranoid, but also the idea that we're like angry people you know we could be angry people honestly i know i only like realizing it right now i'm getting a little spooked you know but we're angry people and i don't know i don't really have much else to say we're selfish we all want to be seen and but i get it though if people want to be seen because maybe they need some sort of attention or some love or something or they feel like that's even just a way to create some sort of stability in their life is to like hit the lotto get some sort of lump sum you know <laughs> but I don't know who knows I'm pretty proud of myself keeping the job that I have for so long how I do have it you know again I'm blessed I'm just blessed enough you know I'm blessed enough you know? and um, I'm pretty sure I stay stay on this on this direction but yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna get a i'm on the freeway so i don't i'm not sure that i mean i don't know if they really need somebody they'll like pretty sure they'll alert you on the freeway you know and um yeah look you don't really think about it but now how, when we drive on the freeway we let people you know go in front of us and we let people in you know we're sharing the world subconscious no no unconsciously sharing the world or we realize it we're just we're not conscious of the fact that we're sharing i think and um i don't know, even that like kind of makes people nervous you know it's crazy like it's a weird thing in humans that when you make a mistake and you try to be happy you even tell yourself like that's not genuine that's not real and it kind of sucks too like the moment that you do finally laugh or you finally like even show a little slight of your actual self it's awkward to other people around you who you know are around you enough to realize they don't often see that you know and um 
it feels like kind of awkward, right? And we correlate that to being not who you really are, but you're trying, you know, you're fucking trying. So I don't, I don't really know what else to say, but that you're trying. And I don't know. I'm really talking right now, honestly, running from my paranoia. Like I, I smoke right now, and have to talk to somebody, you know. I have to talk to somebody, you know. I like, I'm, I know there's a reason why people are doing what they do, talking, hold the camera in the hand like it's a service dog, or you know, do social media, work from a distance, by themselves, isolation. You know, I hope the best for everybody. Specifically, I was thinking about right now, like couples, you know. I hope you guys are getting along, because two people could be together but still be lonely, you know. And like super close now, like super tight, like. And um, yeah, driving's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not trying to be too much in a dark space. I'm trying to just like feel like I appreciate this breath I'm taking, you know. Like oh, I'm worthy of it, even though maybe I'm a fucking jerk. I don't want to feel paranoid, start being so negative about myself. But I also don't want you either, you know. So it's crazy. There's like a third person, you know. This your mind, who you're talking to, and you. You might be able to control a little bit what someone else does, like their movement. We can't control what they think. I mean, some instances you can, but I think it's like, like anything, you got it. It's like a ball that is always never ending and so the moment you think you're controlling somebody and then you take the foot off they might just realize that you're being they're being controlled in a sense in personal relationships and so yeah you, you just really control your own thoughts you can control yourself and you can try to appease the people next to you you know by communication but I know there's always the other person. I mean, everybody knows that, right? The other persons or person. But there's also a chip out in your own mind, you know? It's like another person. Like, you're... I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I just passed some... What they call heavens and graffiti. It's like when they hang off ledges. We call them heavens. Right here. And I'm pretty much right here in Northeast Trees. Where I used to work back in the day. But, um... I only hope to come up to help people, you know? That's it. Uh, I just want to... I don't know. It's tough. It's tough with people. I think all people hope. Think about their loved ones. I don't know. We live in a distant society. So... It just kind of naturally tends to be like, whoa... We'll be friends again Once I get a million dollars like, We'll be friends again I'm not worried about it. I'm going to get a million dollars We're going to be friends again You know So I think today roughly I made about 70 bucks I make 500 bucks A week working part time At my job Well close to that And um I ain't buying no more books. I got enough books now. I can just focus on those and stack some bread. Maintain this vehicle. And uh, just be productive. Breathe. 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 Ready 815. I'll, I'll kind of get a couple more deliveries. I kind of want to get over this high or like over it in a sense where I just feel more positive. I was already positive. I was just feeling like, I don't know, you're just going, you know, you're just living, you're not thinking too crazy. You're just thinking like what, what, the, what the projective is or objective, what the objective is. And you're going to get deliveries and not really thinking anything really. It's weird, like, you're not thinking about people, but then when you go around them, you just have certain characteristics or certain traits, you know? 
and you just tend to be happy within yourself, you know? You either like, I don't know, there's certain, certain things, you know? There's certain characteristics. And in reality, things aren't personal with people because I just picture myself now working and shit. Like, I'm not thinking about nobody. I mean, I'm not, not really, like, until you, you see somebody or you see people or you see, you know, what they're doing, do we start thinking, like, damn, I wish that was me or, fuck, I don't want to look at what they're doing because it's probably cool and they're cooler than me and everybody's cooler than you and, you know, inside you think that, so how the fuck can you be genuinely happy for people? You know, I'm just not going to look at it because I don't want to feel like that about myself and, I don't want people to think I, I dislike them or I'm a shitty person. Yeah, I don't know. Wake me up before we go, go. Wake me up before we go, go. I don't know how I don't really know if I really want to go. But the algorithm's gonna know I'm scared and, and paranoid, so they're gonna send me a fucking. They're gonna send me something right now. They know I'm paranoid to be around people. I want to ball up, crawl up, and just chill. I actually want to read a book. Or... Oh, what a talk, I guess. Fuck. Wake me up. This is how you go, go. people lived to like 200 years back in the day because they were just so positive what you think man what you think man I want to be smart I wonder why people do shit like why is he talking about cars right now what's the point of talking about cars man maybe everybody has cars so everybody's fucking on even playing field you know I'm broke big dog why are you saying you got millions in your pocket why are we talking about millions of dollars right now why tell me how much money you make when I ain't got nothing in my pocket? Does that go on? Oh, I don't know, but I think it does. And what runs through the person who has money and he knows someone else in the conversation doesn't have money? He or she? He or she knows he or she doesn't have what they have and they still talk about it? Does that go on? I still think it goes on. Of course it does. You can't put nothing over people and people just... But okay, what goes through the person's mind who has money is going to motivate them. Or you never know. They're, maybe they're gonna bring up a, a business proposal to get you on the same level and shit. You know? I don't know. It's, it's just fucking hard. It's hard to trust in people, man. Part of trusting in them is no, they're not bringing up that to make you feel like shit. They want someone to be happy for them, or, or and that's strictly it. Of course, they're gonna think in your mind. What do you think in your mind? You, you cross all the possibilities in your head. What someone else is thinking? Or all the possibilities that whatever you said can mean this or this or this or that. So sometimes you don't even say when you just think ahead, like. If I say this shit, they don't got money. Fuck. No, I can't talk about that. I'm like, why not? Just communicate, say something. Keep it going. Keep, keep the vibe going. Um. I guess I'll say this from the sideline, you know? People out there living this shit. Wake me up before you go. So McDonald's usually is like the place or 7-Eleven. It's usually like the night place where you get shit. It's usually that's like, those are the spots that are open late and people with the munchies and shit. It always just sucks when McDonald's, you have to wait in the drive-thru. You gotta have your car on and shit. Oh, yeah. You guys don't know what I'm doing, huh? Shout out all you people who drop off food for deliveries, you know? Like my my friend John, he's doing that right now. Um, yeah, shout, just drive safe, be careful, etc. Um, yeah, dude. The moon looks big tonight. There's a building blocking it. I think once we get around there, I'm going to show you guys. Just making a video talking or FaceTiming is a lot better than just having your head down trying to type. It's a lot safer. 
honestly. You might just FaceTime your friend or just if you're talking to somebody, you might as well make a video or you want to talk, make a video. Wake me up before you go, go. Such a good song, right? It's very live music. Driving on the reflectors. You hear that? that. I didn't realize I went, I drove so far out. So what happens when you guess you don't live in a city or I don't know. I, I could have not took rides maybe. I stood closer. Um, I guess I gotta trust the al algorithm because right now it took me somewhere, right? It took me far, or it took me. It was weird how like I was just smoking right there and I needed a fucking lighter. Weird, right? Serendipitous, but hey, we're all meant to help each other, you know? We're all just meant to help each other. I don't want to think, oh, the algorithm took me somewhere. Or, of course, of course. <laughs> so I have a class coming up called Abnor Abnormal, Psych Abnormal Psychology. I think they're going to talk about, like, I wonder if they're going to talk about, like, Egotism in the mind, and like these selfish ways of thinking, you know, and like the world revolves around you. People who are just like envious, like, like there has to be classes, like, there's a negativity in the mind. You know, I don't want to learn scientific shit, I want to have discussions and talk about like that. Motherfuckers are really bitter out here and can't share in happiness or angry and fucking where there could be no talk of. Progression. There could be no talk of, of like gaining things in front of other people that don't have anything, you know. So, I mean, but even it's not just that either. Like, when I'm saying like somebody trying to talk, man, there's so much. I'm so sensitive to stupid shit. Oh, they're talking about you. Oh, I'm a jealous fucking. Possessive fucking me, 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 me type of person, you know? And that's just whack. That's just not cool. At all. Um, I often wish I could see myself, you know? From like a bird's eye view or how other people see you, you know? I don't know. Sometimes it's scary to be told the truth, to look, be, like look in the mirror, you know? The ultimate mirror are words, you know? The ultimate mirror is reflection. Wake me up before you go, go. Yeah, the moon's pretty big. It's fucking huge. I want to know why when we spin, the moon, you can still see it at night. I mean, it's still, you can still see it during the day, the moon. Look in the sky, you can see it. But there's a reason why, because it's either so big, and the way we spin at the certain, right now it looks big, right? But there's times it looks just like right above you and super far. And right here it looks like straight ahead. Like if I'm looking a little bit above me, like at a 45 degree angle straight, I'm looking at the moon, and it looks super huge. So that's all, like, they've studied that shit. People have studied and just, their whole life they just pondered on distance and direction and said this is how we can figure that out you know that's pretty fucking amazing so there's something like it's spinning around us or it's not spinning around us I, I, maybe it's super like maybe it's so fucking far that like it just happens to lie right there like that's just no matter what angle we spin in we can still see it in some weird way but I don't I don't think so because like if we're on a certain part of the side of the world at one point, wouldn't our backs be to the moon? You know what I'm saying? That shit's fucking huge. See that shit? I'm 
about taking a picture. I probably think next to me is who's taking a picture. That's just huge, huh? Now, I don't know if it has that color because it's reflecting from on the side of where the sun's at because it's like a yellow, like it, something's shining on it. And it makes me really feel like that's probably, it's probably somewhere where the sun is at, you know what I mean? People are looking at it right now super high in the air during the day and we're right here on the dark on this side of the, the earth, you know what I mean? Because the moon looks pretty dusty to me, you know? <laughs> trying to give you an example um, it's like a light brown it's fucking beautiful right now but yeah it's actually got school tomorrow she got class I signed up for a strength and conditioning because it's gonna kind of give me a routine I kind of have to take the class and it's a class so it gives me reason to like lift weights I don't know I feel like maybe um, I took a yoga class or something. I'll check it out. If I don't like it, I'll take a yoga one. I can take a yoga in the next semester. There was a yoga class at the same time as the strength and conditioning. It's just going to be in the weight room, you know? I hope he kind of lets us do our thing. I kind of wanted to do some, put, uh, some squats and work on my legs, some deadlift and some, what do they call that shit? Power clean? I like power two times a week it's gonna probably give me like make me want to um, do it more you know it's gonna make me like have a routine and then when the class is over I don't know maybe I don't need to be lifting that much weights I definitely want to swim but I gotta work too you know I'm pretty much back in town now just see if I get a call I post up with you guys. Yeah, I post up with you guys. Let's see if I get a phone call. I can always upload this tonight. So I did, that's a good thing about like just having one video where you don't have to edit it because then you can just upload it and that's it. You know, because if you have to edit, then you have to kind of like get to make is it edit it and then chances are you might leave a lot of shit in. Especially like on a vlog or a discussion. If you have a bunch of clips, then you gotta save that and that pretty much uses the same amount of data you already have on your phone because you can't delete no clips because it'll delete from your video on the editing machine that I use for, for, my, for mine, I'm sure. I'm also thinking like, if they have something where like, you just make a duplicate and you delete that. So then when you save it, you're saving something pretty much brand new as opposed to like having to double because when you, you know what I mean? When you save it, you're pretty much making it into one big video, but those clips are still on your phone. So it's like doubling the data usage. So, but right here was just one straight video. You can just upload it. I can actually see my school from here. It's a beautiful school, man. Honestly. Not sure why they don't have the lights on all the whole building. That look pretty cool. Maybe they're saving. Because like, that's a new building. Or they might just remodel it, but there's a new building up there that they're still working on. I don't know what's going to be there. It just looks like stairs to me. I haven't really looked at it. I just noticed the stairs. Because stairs, you can see, it's pretty dope architecture. You can see it from just like looking at the building, pretty much. So I'm just drive back, see if I get something. I could park at the McDonald's. See if I get something. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm excited about school tomorrow, man. When I think about it now. I'm gonna try to plot my routine right now. I have my philosophy class tomorrow, then I have that. Cause I was just gonna go from school from like eight to nine something. I, mean, I could take something on Monday, Wednesday. Like I could still get a run in after, you know? Well, but if I have that Monday, Wednesday class, I'll just run like on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Running is still going to be the main priority because I already I'm having a class is mandatory. They had like softball and basketball. Softball actually sounded pretty cool, actually. 
I want to know when the class is, though, like the softball. Um, I'm going to ask if it's like co-ed because that would be pretty dope. I like to take softball. It'd probably be fun being with like the younger people anyway. I know there's perks to it or whatever, but dude, I know how to control myself, you know? And fucking, um, I'm going to ask. I'm actually going to email the lady. I'm going to tell her, like, what's the ratio of men and women? Because I don't want to be, like, the only guy there. Playing softball is actually pretty fucking dope. Okay. I wouldn't want to, like... I wonder how structure is going to be. Because I want to play games and shit. Like, I actually want to play, like... Like, be pro. Like, not just do, like, drills and shit. I'm going to email her. She doesn't really have a Monday for Wednesday type of thing yet. I'm going to ask her, is it going to be, like, a softball league where we... Because one of the classes is actually full already, she said. I want to email her. She said it starts in February, so that's like probably next week. I think she's still getting it together. Or like her email is like Bianca something. It's going to be outside, obviously. It's like we wear like sunshades and shit. I feel more comfortable that way. I mean, I already wear them in class. You want to race? No, this guy has like a fucking dope ass Mustang. You want to race, doggy? I know McDonald's would always give me like a delivery for sure. They come in clutch, you know? Yeah, I went, I was fucking far right now. I went to a place where like they actually just use the kitchen, but they have a bunch of restaurants there. And like, it's pretty smart. They conglomerate everything. They have all the ingredients probably. And they just have the same cooks and they know how to cook different shit. They learn the menu and they fucking make the food and you go pick it up. And they have it under like some like sub company, you know? pretty awesome actually it's a smart idea and uh show my buddy fucking bogus fucking yeah dude now my homies i was talking to an asian i was talking to this asian man at work today well he's vietnamese that's in asia he said it's close to china um i asked him are you filipino you just running into my homie my homie carlos my homie nip his name is carlos um spain was in uh, filipino in philippines in the philippines and that's why they speak Spanish or they're very close to it. Like they speak a very, they, they, they're, you know, I don't know, for some reason they understand Spanish. I think maybe Tagalog is close to it. I'm not really sure. But, you know, in Spain, Spain used to be there. And he just reminded me, he was super cool, super fucking cool. He told me about like his wife just got it. Him and his wife, she left him, but she's super Christian. And he didn't tell me the whole story, but I kind of get the gif, you know, he was kicking it, he started kicking it again, started kind of drinking, started kicking it, you know. I think he told me, like, he told me once, right? You know, he doesn't know me. He's, just, he's trying to talk, but he's also, you know, just, I can tell, like, man, do you miss her? She's like, man, she's beautiful. I was like, yeah, she is beautiful, bro. He showed me, he's like, he's 48. He didn't even look 48. I'm like, man, I'm like, man Asian people got some fucking robust skin, you know, very fucking durable, you know? It's like, it's like, because, you know, maybe, maybe they're jeans from, from a place that's tropical, you know? And maybe that was good for the skin, you know? I told him, hey, when I was like 23, I remember going to like a party. I, I remember I was at a party. I met a Filipino girl. She, I didn't even know she was 40. She, her skin was fucking amazing, soft, and just her skin was just. I'm sure she probably just shaved, you know? She was beautiful, man. She's like, I have a son that's like 18. I'm like, uh, I remember my, her phone dropped in the, in the toilet. We were like in the moment and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I go park at McDonald's in the cut. Don't want to be fucked with them. And um, so yeah, fuck, dude. I could have probably waited somewhere else too, but I, just, I was I was stoned. I knew I was gonna go come back, so I was fucking stoned. People are gonna want to order shit later, you know. I don't mind taking a nap in my car. I like being in my car. It's like having my own spot, you know. Shout out my family. I love you guys, man. My sister came over with her boyfriend, Eric. Had a good time, man. Had a good fucking time. He bought some pizza. Bought some fucking pizza. She was fire. He bought pastrami pizza. Had pickles, though. I guess pastrami sandwich has pickles. And he said there was mustard in there. My brother-in-law, Eric, said there was some sort of mustard. I didn't try it. I seen the pickles. But trust me, like, I'm going to eat that shit. Like, I'll eat it, definitely. Like, I'm going to be hungry. I'm going to eat it. I don't know why. I just didn't want it. I was like... I don't want to eat too much Like I didn't want to try it But Because it was Not something like It would have been kind of like You know when you jump in the cold water Like to sit there Like wait wait Like oh fuck I didn't Like it was like oh, It's easier if I just eat this uh, Supreme slice And this Pepperoni slice And just have one wing 
because I was about to just go and I, I had my schedule to just come out here and start driving at five and just for this particular day it's gonna vary you know and so they told me they're ordering pizza I was like you know maybe I'm, I'm kind of hungry I don't save some money and I appreciate them buying the pizza I'm gonna text them right now my sister tell Eric thanks for the pizza and um yeah that one looks fucking pretty sick dude it's just chilling right here dude it's almost insane huh that moon is like is there a power to it is there some sort of magnetic pool that makes people want to be smart like is there something imagine the other universes that are out there and if there are wouldn't that be so fucking cool it doesn't say there's nobody on different places like it doesn't say that like in the bible you know i think inevitably and in common sense the way this works